What's going on, Dub Nation? It's your boy, JC Dub, your man, your host, your boy, back with another video talking about the Las Vegas Raiders and New Orleans Saints. So before I start this video, I wanna go ahead and give a big shout out to Jordan. That man, like, subscribe, and share, and also comment on my video, the last thing that I post, so go ahead and check that out. I'll go ahead and shout you guys out. That's all you gotta do is go ahead, like, subscribe, share, comment, that's it. And I'll go ahead and give y'all a shout out. Anybody out there, man, shout out one love. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate you, man. This man Instagram is JordanVegas05. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you're seeing this right now. Much love to you. Shout out to my girl, Alondra Smith. Thank you for helping me with that last video. Uh, Lovely Lonnie is her Instagram. Please go ahead and follow her on social media on Instagram. So thank you so much for that help. So now we're going to talk about New Orleans Saints and Las Vegas Raiders. Man, so this one is a good one, it's a big one, it's a fun one that we have going on in the new stadium, home of Las Vegas. And then that transfer, that transformation is beautiful coming from Oakland to Las Vegas. Believe me, I went there myself. I came from Oakland, came out here a few years back. I didn't follow them. I came here a few years before they did. So, you know, I'm glad that, you know, my team went ahead and followed me basically into a place I can't call home for now, you know, but of course I'm gonna always be an Oak Town Raider, you feel me? So let's go ahead and get this start off. So now we're here to talk about injury report regarding New Orleans Saints and Las Vegas Raiders and how this game may go. I went ahead and talked about the Raiders prediction of what I think their season may be, what I think their whole you know, schedule, including division games. So I said 10-5 and 3-3 for division, that they're clutching it, that the Raiders make it to the playoffs. So, you know, I'm hoping that's what happens. I hope they go beyond that. But that's just my prediction. Go ahead and check that out and give it a thumbs up. All right, y'all, so we're gonna kick it off talking about Michael Thomas, right receiver for the Saints. Even though they don't have Michael Thomas because of an ankle sprain, it's a high ankle sprain, actually, that is getting him kicked out. Uh, not really kicked out, but not <laughs> having him play for at least three games, and that's huge because that guy is, you know, he's, he's a weapon. So um, it sucks that the Saints had to lose him at this point in time, not really, but you know, it does, so you know. I hope for the best for him. I hope that he heal up, and I hope that he can get back at it and go ahead and be a monster this season. So next, we're talking about man. We're talking about D and Marcus Danport. This guy got injured from it uh, by his elbow. Uh, not too sure what happened here, but you know he's uh, he won't be playing this game either unless they clear him from this week that they have been just you know just in rehab and anything like that. So. You know, Marcus, he's a, he, that guy's a big predator. That guy helping Cameron on the defense side of the ball. So, you know, it's very huge. And another advantage of losing that man as well. That guy's a beast, a very cold player. Um, you guys went ahead and seen him play last week against Tampa Bay, and you've seen what he can do. And, you know, from college and other games that he had before. That gives Derek Carr, John Jacobs, you know, and their whole offensive line to go ahead and, you know, take advantage of that to create some schemes so that way they can go ahead and get uh, Josh Jacobs down the field to the new end zone of Las Vegas Raiders, man. I, I can't believe I'm saying this right now like that. <sighs> Have y'all seen that field? Like, hey man, go ahead and comment down below if you want me to give y'all a tour of you know the, the the arena the area i'm gonna actually go ahead and be over there uh monday for the tailgate i'm hoping that they'll have a ready tailgate because you know they're not allowing fans to come and everything but man if we're in las vegas you know we're finna party hard so you already know looking at oakland tailgates man it gotta be the same energy and lv dog so i can't wait to go to that tailgate on monday and see what's going to go down over there so next one we got, man, we got P.J. Williams. So that guy, not too sure what happened to him, but he's on injury reserve as well. Uh, I think he'll be back playing against the Raiders. Uh, he, uh, CB, so that guy, you know, he'd be great guarding uh, Henry Ruggs and Brian Edwards and other receivers that they have on, on the Las Vegas Raiders team. So, you know, like, it is, you know, very huge as well. 
losing that guy. That's if he does play or if I see if he does not play. We can go ahead and see, but you know, that's what I have heard and seen is PJ Williams is on injury reserve. So another one that we got, man, we got Chase Hansen, a linebacker. Not too sure what happened to him as well, but that guy is out, so sucks, not really. But you know, I think he could have taken Josh Jacobs a little bit because that guy is a monster. So you know what, <laughs> like, I uh, hope that guy get well. I hope the best for everybody. So you know, let's go ahead and talk about the Las Vegas Raiders. The Las Vegas Raiders, man, we got one of our biggest offensive tackles, Trent Brown, have not a serious injury, but could possibly play this game. That's what I've been seeing. So hopefully this guy can go ahead and get that, you know, checked out, rehab is, you know, doing good for him. So that way he can go ahead and be the best person that he can be, the best offensive tackle that he can be. And, and you know, we surely do need him. I know that, you know, Josh Jacobs definitely really wants that man out and available for him to go ahead and make those blocks for him. So he's out on a calf injury. Uh, he could play, he could not play, but we're gonna go ahead and see that's the big upset, especially going against the Saints defense. Now that that is wild. Next one we got, we got Nick Kowalski. Man, this guy torn a pectoral muscle. Uh, so he must have been either he must have went for the ball or got or went ahead and hit somebody and over exaggerated his chest or chest hyper hyper flexed it. you know i know i did that before where like i just hyper flexed it i hyper um i stretched it or whatever you want to call it uh it, it's, it's it sucks you know like people don't think that the pectoris is a is a muscle that we need or that oh it's like oh it's just, it's just a pectoris like you should be fine get out there it's frozen dirt right but now like you know like it is very 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 important especially because it is close to your shoulder and you know it helps you you know make tackles so if he keeps getting banged up right there you know back to back to back to back, to back making plays you know that could just either end his season or put, put him on injury reserve as well so man i hope that this guy get good i hope this guy get better because you know nick bro you better step your game before somebody can take his spot so now another OT man, we're talking about Sam Young, groin injury. Suffered a groin injury against the Panthers. Man, just, all of the all these players, they all could be questionable for week two. Let's not forget about Henry Ruggs escaping that ankle injury from that big play against the Panthers. So, you know, as you guys may see, probably not, unless you're a Panther and Raider fan, Henry Ruggs, you know, he caught the ball, of a leap for the first down got a bounce and the guy landed on his ankle so he was out for the remaining of the game uh he should be back this game to play so hopefully that he's well you know he's a rookie star rookie actually that we just drafted and i feel like that guy has a lot of potential especially that big play that he had against the panthers but you know i feel like if he would have cut back you know, and then like died for the end zone, he would have had his first touchdown as a Las Vegas Raider. But he went ahead and tried to die for it, which could have possibly gave him that injury then as well. But you know, luckily nothing happened to him at that point. But next time I feel like he needs to have, you know, better chest like movement. So that way next time if he sees someone shooting at him, he can go ahead and hit that step back and make that play. So get that touchdown. So you know. Uh, best of luck for him and Ruggs and the whole gang, man. Las Vegas Raiders. I hope y'all do y'all thing this weekend, though. Know, I'm going to go ahead and say that y'all going to win this game, of course. They gave the Saints the upper hand. I know, seven plus uh, lead against them. I'm going to go ahead and give the Raiders the win. So y'all go ahead and check out that last video of the predictions. And I'll see y'all next time. Normal. We're abnormally abnormal. Video cut. Eat it.